Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome to my kitchen. I have an abundance of this beautiful green, amazingly pungent basil. You work so hard to grow things in your garden. My garden right now is basically one pot. It's not like I have some big garden, guys. My garden basically is this huge barrel with a patio citrus tree in it and basil underneath. That's all I have. I'm planning to do more in the future now that I've moved. The basil loves living with my citrus tree. I take really good care of my citrus tree and the basil has benefited. I am now in a conundrum, like what do I do with all the basil? I have a few techniques that I want to show you and one of my favorite things to do with basil uh, that are amazing. So we're just going to start by taking off a bunch of basil leaves. So when you just want to sprinkle some basil on the top of a salad or a, a, any dish, use it like parsley. I mean, smell it. If, if you like the smell of it, put it in the dish. Try it. How can it hurt? You know, I mean, we know it's great in Italian, but I wouldn't put it in Mexican. So you are going to, this is, technique is called chiffonade. We are going to stack our leaves and then roll them. No, we're not going to smoke them. That'd be quite the big joint now, wouldn't it? And then we are just going to slice it, not lengthwise, this way. And it's going to make beautiful ribbons. We can put on any salad, garnish any pizza with, any pasta dish, and you're left with these beautiful ribbons. That's what we want. And you can do anything with those. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I'm making a soup right now on the stove. It's a Portuguese recipe. Check that one out. That this basil is going to go on. Next, we're going to preserve some basil. I have two techniques of preserving. One that's in the freezer that lasts as long as you want and the other is in the fridge. The stuff in the fridge I think tastes better than what's in the freezer. But you can always put it in the freezer, no big deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to start layering olive oil, salt, and basil in this dish. Now this is a tall one so I'm only going to do it like up to here because this doesn't last as long. This is only going to last about six weeks in my fridge. So I can use the chiffonade kind or I can use whole leaf or I can just break it up. So this I'm going to break up because I want to use that chiffonade for something else. So I'm just going to break these up into pieces. And I'm going to put them in. Then I'm going to put a layer of salt and a layer of oil. If you do not have olive oil, just use what you have. Um, it's up to you. And then we're going to do this again. And we're going to put another layer in. And we're just going to keep layering it. And like I said, I'm not going up to the top. And you don't have to. Just going to put another layer and break these up. This is also great in sauces, salads, right on plain spaghetti, noodles, another layer of salt, the salt is your preservative, and then we're just going to make sure it's covered. And this, this lasts me more than six weeks, but it does go bad compared to putting it in the freezer. And you're just going to keep layering all the way up and you're going to have an amazing condiment to use on your pastas and your salads. Our next one is my favorite. Um, so let's try this. Let me show you one of my secret weapons. This is, you know, a happy mama drink. Oops, happy anybody drink. Actually, that's a little too much. So it matters how much basil you like, but this is a cocktail. This is called Kathy Cooks For You Gone Wild. <laughs> So I'm going to put that in here and I'm going to muddle it a little bit. What can I use to muddle it? Here I have a metal straw. Maybe that'll work. Just going to chop it up a little. Smash it. Nice and smash. I'm going to put some ice in there. 
and some vodka. Oops, I want to show you the, some vodka. I don't, I'm not measuring right now. Got our vodka, boy, and it's, you know, before five o'clock and I'm going to be having a cocktail. Some sparkling water. This happens to be orange flavor, whatever flavor, it doesn't matter. And if you have it, just squeeze two berries, two or three berries. Just, you know, get some of that juice in there. Can't forget a little bit of lime. Put the lime in there and ooh. I'm gonna be happy when my husband comes home and the kids come home. It's absolutely amazing. Delicious little cocktail. Mmm. Okay, back onto the serious stuff. Preserving basil. That's not a way to preserve it, that's just a way to use it. Now we have more here. And another what thing to do with it is just cut it off, put it in here. Now I know people that add water to this. It's like, no, 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 no. You need to add some oil, olive oil preferably. You want to make sure that each leaf is coated so it doesn't get freezer burned. But that doesn't mean you have to fill it up to the top. You can just put some in there. Make sure you get all the air out. And then just move it around. Ooh. And then that goes in the freezer. Pretty darn cool, huh? And now we're going to finish up using this basil, this beautiful basil, which I have so much of it, and we are going to make a pesto. Pesto it has just basic ingredients. It has basil, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, and normally pine nuts. Pine nuts are super expensive. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I'm using walnuts. Why? It's because what was I had in the freezer. So you guys can do that too and just improvise. Okay, so we are going to start by putting our leaves in here, our beautiful leaves. All right, we're gonna start by just doing one quick little rough chop with this and getting this started here. I wanna make it so you can see it. There goes a helicopter. We'll take a drink of our cocktail while the helicopter's going by. I do live by an Air Force base. That happens. All right, so let's just do a little chop on that. Okay. We're going to add our walnuts. And this is super healthy. Getting all of our the olive oil and the walnuts are so good for our heart. So I'm putting in like three handfuls. And my um, Parmesan cheese here, there's a funny story behind it. I'm not even going to shred it. I figured that's the job of my machine here, right? Okay. We're going to let that go. Right? Olive oil and garlic. Well, we could throw that in there. And then we're going to start drizzling olive oil. So I'm putting about four or five cloves of garlic. And salt. Put some salt in there. We're going to let that go and we'll drizzle in our olive oil. Oh, it's getting quiet. That means it's coming together. The smells in this house are amazing. We'll just use our knife here. Okay, it's pretty stiff. See how stiff it is? Let's just try it. Why not? Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. Okay, let's do a little more olive oil. Okay, it's really loosened up. Absolutely beautiful. Time now to just put it in a um, container. And this is tomorrow's dinner. I mean, why can't, I don't have to serve sausage with this. Mm. I mean, that is absolutely spectacular. 
you do not even need sausage with this. Just, you just need a, a shell to put this on. So you need like some pasta or even some crostini, some garlic bread. Oh, that would be so tasty. I can't wait to eat tomorrow. It's a bummer I have to wait. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. I hope you enjoyed my Kathy Cooks For You cocktail. Um, and this is one of my cocktails of choice. I can have to say that. And I got this cute little glass at thrift store. I hope you enjoy making this pasta. I hope you enjoy having your cocktail while you cook. Thanks again.